Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to add borders around our elements. Uh, CSS borders have properties like style, color, and width. And then they give you an example. If you wanted to create a red five pixel border around an HTML element, we would do this. And they make a list. This is the example that you will probably just kind of mimic. Um, create a class called Thick Green Border. Create a class called Thick Green Border. This class should add a 10 pixel solid green border around an HTML, HTML, HTML uh, element. Apply the class to your cat photo. Uh, remember that you can apply multiple classes to an element using its class attribute by separating each class name with a space, for example. And then for example, it says uh, image class, and then it's got class one, class two, separated by a space. Okay, that's pretty much uh, straightforward. So we're going to create a class called thick green border. And then we're going to add a, um, let's see, we'll go back up and use the example. We want to use the, the border um, color, the border width, and the border style. And we're going to make the um, width, we want to be 10 pixels. The style, we want to be solid. And um, the color is going to be green. And um, we haven't, s oh, another thing is that this is a class selector. And remember that class and period go together. Um, in, when, when you used to be in school, you would have your different periods, um, and then that was part of your classes. So that's how I think about it, class period. We add that in there. And so now thick green border is, our, uh, is the name of the class. And we want to set that class um, around an HTML element. Um, okay, so we want the image to have the smaller image. Here's the class section selection for the image, and we want to give it a border. So we just add a space in here, and then we put in thick green border. And then boom, it's got a thick green border. And that should be it. We can always put multiple um, classes in this section. Oftentimes, even in the code, like um, even, in, for example, in free code camp, you can see that um, if you go to command option I, and you go to um, the sources, or the element, you can see that the different elements in here have all this class. You see, this div has a class of Monaco alert. Um, you can see there's classes just all over websites. And so this is very useful stuff. You'll be using multiple classes on individual elements. And uh, this is just the basic first one. So we get that. And if we run the tests, they should pass. That's it. Please click the like button or subscribe if you guys appreciated this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.